Hey guys, last year brought some intriguing developments within my aviary. Did we manage to breed a new species? Did the chestnut person Menegans finally give us some chicks after two years of anticipation? Let's dive into the details. As you might recall from my earlier video, my golden finches had a fantastic breeding season in their new indoor aviary. But the real surprise unfolded in the outdoor aviary. Let's rewind to the start of the breeding season, which kicked off in a bit of a chaotic fashion. Despite having eggs, no chicks hatched inside the breeding cage. However, among this chaos, I observed some fascinating behavior in the mannequin's courtship ritual. Take a look at this male serenading his mate with song and dance. She responded with a tail wing, a behavior I typically associate with females. After this observation, I was almost sure I had a male and female, despite the absence of nests in previous years. Comment below if I'm incorrect with this assumption. It was time to move things outdoors. Looking back, the outdoor aviary always has been more successful than the indoor breeding cages, even though it's a mixed aviary. This year, we had a small flock consisting of chestnut breasted mannequins, three colored bird finches, society finches, and a pair of African silverbills. and they wasted no time in getting down to business. Nest appeared rapidly, with all pairs except for the parrot finches settling in within weeks. The silver bills were particularly quick off the mark, securing the first nest with four eggs, though they took their time before starting to breed. But the real excitement came with the mannequins. After eagerly awaiting their first eggs, I hit the jackpot, three of them. And when I heard the chirps of life, I rushed to the nest to find not one, but two fluffy chicks with full crops. An encouraging sign that the parents were attentive. In the meantime, the society finches also started the nest and eventually hatched a lone chick of their own. Three chicks from the first room. Not bad considering the chaos and limited attention I could provide due to my busy schedule. In the following weeks I made sporadic checks, eagerly awaiting the fletching of the mannequins and when the time came I was in for a surprise. Because I hadn't bred the species before, I didn't know what to expect. First I didn't notice, but the mannequin chicks turned out to be silver bills. The sneaky silk build had laid eggs in the mannequin's nest and the mannequins fostered these chicks as they were their own. Amazing, but that was not all, because the lone society finch chick was also ready to hatch and you don't believe it, but also this chick was a silver build. I know society finches are often used to foster other species eggs and chicks, but I have never heard about the mannequins doing the same. And the craziest thing is that it was two nests at the same time. I would almost compare silver bills with cuckoos, who are known to not raise chicks themselves, but only use other birds. Eventually, the silver bills laid eggs in six different nests, including those of the society finches and men, without taking on any parental responsibilities themselves. Sadly, tragedy struck when the female society finch passed away just before her chick hatched. Nevertheless, the male bravely stepped up to the task of raising the chicks so Witnessing these chicks being cared for by different species was truly hard work. As the breeding season was coming to an end, no other eggs hatched in the outdoor area. However, these three silver bills grew up without any problems. At the moment, I'm building a completely new outdoor aviary. I hope it's done before it's time for the birds to go outside. For now, the breeding season just started in the bird cabin. I've already found a hidden nest inside the indoor area. That's it for this video, hope you liked it. You know what to do if you want to support this channel and don't want to miss anything. Share, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. And remember bird lovers, stay cheerful, stay happy 
and most importantly, always love your birds. Bye bye!